Hello, my name's Abby Gorn and I'm 10. What was your first job? Well, my very first job was as a Saturday girl in Littlewoods Cafe in Middlesbrough. And I used to go every Saturday morning and spend the day there and I used to clear the tables, take all the pots out of the back, put everything in the dishwasher and then put everything away again afterwards. And I did that for about two years while I was at Sixth Farm College. Where did you go for your first day? <gasps> my first date? Oh my goodness, that is a long time ago. I think I was probably only about 15, 16 and I think we just went to the park. We just went for a walk to the park, I think that was it. I can't remember, it's that long ago. What was your first boyfriend called? Oh, I really can't remember that. I honestly can't remember what my first... Oh, my husband's called David, but I can't remember what my first, day, my first boyfriend was called. It was such a long time ago. Dyslexic. Dyslexic. That's what I, I get mixed up. He was born in 1956. He started life in an industrial town of Middlesbrough in North East England and he was born in Middlesbrough. My name is Nicole Smith and I go to Brambles Primary School and I'm a part of the Heritage Project and today I've been researching about Middlesbrough's history and I learned some about Frank Elgie. He was born in, in Kings Road, in North Almsby on 8th of November 1880. He moved to Middlesbrough in 1892, but Frank and his brother Alan continued to go to school in North Almsby. In 1986, he started to work as a work boy. When he wasn't working, he taught himself Latin. He died, sadly, he died in 1944. But people will remember him as an archaeologist and a geologist. And a what? Archaeologist and a geologist. Archaeologist and a jolliest? A geologist. <laughs> Thank you very much, that was excellent. Thelma <laughs> Barlow was born in Middlesbrough, Yorkshire in 19th of June, 1937. She had two children called James and Clive. Born in Falmouth, 
Farmer Street, married to Graham Fowler, divorced in 1956. Coronation Street, act actress, the first job, secretary, the ladies, TV show, still alive. I'm Danny Price, and I am Ryan Dog. I'm 10 years old. I'm sure mine. We go at Penniman School in Armsby. So do I. <laughs> We've been here on the heritage prob um, problem. <laughs> project. We've been to lots of different places like the, the archive, and we've been to a memorial museum, which I don't understand. And we've seen lots of different things there. And we taught. We learned several things that. Seems strange. Like what? Like, like how we learn more about the human body when we when we like, evolved. And we've been doing about history of Egyptian it's child like, down, isn't it? And to be truthful with you, I've absolutely loved the history project. Have you? Why? What, what have you liked about it? Because I've learned loads of new stuff, I've, and actually I've learned how much is in. The area that we live in. Are you proud of that? Proud. So you, did you think Middlesbrough didn't have much of a history before you started really? One thing I found quite amazing is when we were at the archives and we were looking up in books for where Armsby came from and it was from a bike called Arms and we found in one book about Armsby that once Armsby had more people than Middlesbrough which and at the same time me and him were just so surprised it was in arms we may as well have been same size of Middle Spread set. Really? And why do you think that was at the time? Because arms ruled most people in the land was brilliant. So it was sort of like not just a village but they built onto it from where arms was then we just built onto this little village to make it quite a big part of the town. Middles were needed more cargo because once it was just like a poor um, city but they built all these docks and the cargo um, that um, got Middlesbrough more fame and so it didn't just become one of the little poor cities that became quite rich. That's absolutely fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. Well and, done. And the, it's got the old town hall on. And I think the whole town hall was also St Hilda's. Well done. You've learned a lot on this project, haven't you? Yes. And you've brought a lot of your own knowledge to it, haven't you? Yes. The Riverside Stadium. It's what? The Riverside Stadium. Who plays there? Um, Borough. A good team, haven't the Borough? Yeah. Good lad.
I would have took you back to help you. They've been a really big help. Through everything, really. Whenever I'm struggling, I put my hand up and they'll come and help me. And it's really good because if they didn't organise this, half the things I should know I wouldn't. And you will never be thinking. My name's Ian Stubbs and I'm the assistant curator. I've always been interested in history. I was interested in history at school. And I used to do the job at the front of house people being a museum attendant for 10 years before I went away and came back as the assistant curator eight years ago. My two favourite things about history is the fact that the Middlesbrough history relates to the history of England and goes right through the periods from the prehistoric times to the present day. And also there's lots of famous people associated with our town and our history. I like uh, history and I like science. What are the two fa most favourite things you've learned? Uh, I've learned a lot and I can't pick. Oh, that good, you can't pick. How have Dougie and helped you on this experience? Alright, oh, they helped me a little bit funny. I took away a card and sounds. Would you come again? Yeah. You're coming tomorrow? Would you come again? If I had the chance, yes. Yeah. If there is the chance, I would have really enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed the experience. <coughs> yeah. I have too. Good, thanks. Oh, and happy birthday. Thank you. Because I have become really, really interested in history and I was chosen. Well, I've learned that Orms, Ormsby, was named after a Viking. And uh, the other interesting fact. Do you, know, do, you know what, do you know what the Viking name was called? Orms. Welcome. And I've also become interested in the different types of birds that have become extinct. Well, they've helped me a lot because Ben told me a lot about orbs, and Dougie has told me a lot about different history. Mine is that, that, um, that I couldn't believe that 10 year olds had to pull a carton full of um, Oh, that could have been about 80 kilograms, you had to do it fast. And that in the well, in the um, in the pottery, it could um, it, it's actually from where we live. But it dates back from centuries. My two favourite things was learning about World War II and how it suffered when the air raid came and loads of passion for World War II in 1970 and how it changed the I've got to say my favourite place in Middlesbrough has got to be here. I like the Darwin's Museum. I come here quite a lot with my grandson and his as well. That's my nana. Oh, yeah. That's my great auntie Phoebe. And that's my great auntie Maggie. Assuming... A three of your family relatives. I think there's Where more on there, but I'm not really sure. But that's my nana. Yeah. That's my great auntie Phoebe. Yeah. And that's my great auntie Maggie. That's okay. Now I think there's more aunties on there, but yes. for a long time ago and I can't remember. Okay. Off the car, ready to say thank you. Oh, you go. Hey, go. All right. Oh yeah, no, we're coming along nice. Yeah, look, Jack. Jack. Oh, do you like it? That's not our pillbox that we're making. Guy. I'm trying to just make, you know, the space get a bit more, get a bit more in shape. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you later.
Have you had a good time on the project? Yeah! Will you come back again? Yeah! Isn't Dougie a better artist than Ben and Chris put together? No! Or else you die, you have to laugh, or else you cry.